Um, are we ready for your next act? Start the round of applause, Kate James, and spread around the room. Stone of quality for you. <laughs> this is a song about Twitter. It's basically a list of all the tweets that I've ever posted. I've just had a cheese sandwich. I'm fairly new to Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Um, good, I, I um, I'd like to do a song now about, about a famous middle-aged lady that I quite fancy. Is the piano too loud or is it just me? It's just me, alright, okay, I'll crack on. I'd like to consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, Carol Vorderman. I'd like to consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant her from behind. She's got a lovely pair of consonant vowel consonants. A great big wobbly lovely pair of consonant vowel consonants. I wonder if she takes it up the vowel consonant, consonant vowel. I'll bet she does the filthy consonant vowel consonant, consonant, consonant. I'd like to put my consonant vowel consonant, consonant in her mouth. I'll bet she gets a great consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant job. <laughs> I, I, I'd quite like to do a, do a new song for you. It's, um, it was um, inspired by a friend of mine. Have we got any married people in the audience? Yeah. Uh, how long have you been together? They, they, you know, sort of a while? A number of years? You, you, you're in the middle, sir. How long have you been together? Ten years, very good. Well, this friend of mine, 20 years you've been together, and I was asking him, I said, what is it, what's the secret of, you know, staying faithful to each other all this length of time? And he gave me this secret, uh, and I put it into a song, I'm going to share it with you now. <laughs> to play away if you're not fit. Call me cynical and world weary, but if your face is dreary, no one's gonna want to sit on it. 
It's easier to be faithful if you're ugly. You can't try it on with every girl in town. You won't test your fidelity if you fell out of the ugly tree and hit every single branch on the way down. Girls may say that they like a sense of humour, but I'm afraid if you're an utter minger, if your ears stick out and your face looks like a tumour, you're never going to get more than a finger. And it'll probably be that one. I bought Richard Hammond's underpants on eBay. That's your bit. If you forget the words, it is written here. So, uh, shall we give it a try? One, two, three, four. I bought Richard Hammond's underpants on eBay. We, we could do a little eBay, eBay, e too, too much? I think it'll work. I'm great hopes for you, son. One, two, three, four. I bought Richard Hammond's underpants on eBay. Nice. As you can imagine, they're quite small and tight. There were some skid marks on them when I got them. Uh, I was hoping you were going with skid marks then, but I, but I scrubbed them with Febreze and I'm wearing them tonight. Oh yeah. I think they were the ones he was wearing in that crash. The flame retardant material is giving me a rash. I imagine Jeremy Clarkson and Tim May would want to know that Richard Hammond's doing his presenting on Top Gear Gun Commando. Your turn again. Two, three, four. I bought Richard Hammond's underpants on eBay. They only cost me $29.99. Exciting to think that the hamster's nutsack. <laughs> I thought you'd like that one. Once sat in the same gusset as mine. Now I don't want you assuming that I'm more than likely gay. So far, my angle passage has been straightly one way. But when it comes to Richard, I think I'd make an exception if he came round to my house and asked if I would test drive his erection. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can absolutely agree. I can now just hang up the night.